Alright, so in my ongoing effort to see if shot cannons can be made viable, I have put together a medium ship with the intention of trying to shunt some of my ammunition load off of uh, <coughs> needing to break shields with a kinetic weapon, because that I noticed with the vulture in my previous introduction to shot cannons was putting a lot of drain on the ammunition reserve, causing me to run out of ammo quicker. With this setup, I hope to be able to mitigate that a little bit. So I'm going to do a quick test, and then I'll show you exactly what's going on with this build. So, um, technically this is an advanced build. I'm using Saito Scramblers and an Imperial Hammer with uh, Feedback Cascade to kill Shield Cell Banks, since NPCs in these high intensity zones love to use them. My hope is that with Skydo Scramblers and all these other resources, I might be able to uh, get the ammunition load on these things to last most of the combat encounter. And the Chieftain is a drifty old girl, but definitely knows how to throw punches. So if you've never flown one before, it's good to keep in mind that it. Um, it's better to stay off the boost button if you want to do precision maneuvers against NPCs. As a result, it means that setting up an encounter takes a little bit more effort. And the Kaido Scramblers are short ranged, so I have to be really close. If I've got my math right on the Coriolis build, I should be able to shred most of the Imperial Navy builds. Spec Ops on the end, you know. Quick note if you ever do a high intensity combat zone, if the Spec Ops win comes in. You are the first target if you're the only pilot you encounter. The other thing I've noticed is even though it says that the Spec Ops guys are not in a wing, if you start attacking one, the others will start prioritizing you as a target. Chieftain is maneuverable, but keeping up with the vultures is a tall order. Shock cannons don't draw as much load, you don't have to keep as many pips in the capacitor in order to keep up with the noise. 
which is good because vultures can still absolutely devastate a medium ship in the right hands. Just not in PvP. Notice it doesn't take a lot of effort on this guy's part to stay ahead of my guns, even though he's an NPC. Once the NPCs get in engineered ships, they start to be real threats. And if you get a bunch of these guys on you, they can absolutely ruin your day. Which is why, if you're in a Hazrez, I don't care how well you're engineered. Once you see the Spec Ops when guys come in, start looking for them. Because if you're solo, it doesn't matter if you're in a shielded cutter or anything else. If you have four of these guys wailing on you, it'll be a short fight. I'm not sure if ramming is a tactic that's deliberately employed by this AI or if it's just buggy pathfinding. I have point defenses, so there isn't anything I can do about that missile. Let's see if the dudes who are with me are helping out though. fire my railgun because I drained too much capacitor. Didn't matter too much though. Kaido Scramblers do so much shield damage. A lot of guys in the elite community who think that their 
shit. But no, for what I'm doing, they're ideal. And the chieftain just happens to have a size one slot, so I'm not making very many sacrifices to stick them on. That's all she wrote. I am out of shock camp. <sighs> the story of my life. Thought maybe I could make it. shot at. Come on, nope. I gotta try to time it so that I start the process right as he flies, but nope.
So a proper chieftain build isn't going to cut it. Try to do anything high level, you're still going to run out of ammo, which means the weapon's stuck pretty much, at least for this medium ship. You're basically back down to assassination missions. You'd probably be better at it than the Vulture would be because you're not going to be blowing a whole bunch of your ammo fighting the shield resistances, but yeah, shot cannons. It either needs, um, I don't know, the big thing it needs is more ammo. More ammo or more damage for the ammo that it carries, but uh, honestly, these things do 83 damage a shot. What, what they need is more ammo or a way to maybe generate ammo easier in the field than synthesis does because I think I mentioned this last time but synthesis is not cut. That's a very expensive synthesis blueprint and it's all manufactured materials. So I'll head back to my carrier and try something else out and see if that makes a difference. 